here it is so far. So you see it built a battery box in the front and then ran all the conduit stuff underneath it towards the back. I already got the fenders put on so they're fit. So if the trailer I ended up reinforcing the whole thing with the tongue, I lowered it like three inches and I put the axle back about five inches to distribute the weight. So then when you got inside here, I don't know if you can see, what you got is the doors and inside here if you look on the side I don't know if you can see it but you can kind of see where the cabinets go in the back here and then underneath that's where your feet go and then back here this is the little kitchenette thing and there's a fuse box it's that light so then on here you can see kind of the cabinets too so here's one cabinet that goes on the top, and then here's the countertop. I don't know if you can see the lines. Here's the countertop, and then on top of it goes a little stove. So then what I was thinking about doing is if we have in the back, if that's like the fuse panel, like on the top, we just hook up the inverter on those terminals again, you know, and then maybe I just, up here, this is a shelf that's actually inside here. So I was thinking maybe you just put the inverter up here and set the inverter in here. Then I just got <clears> to <throat> drill some holes through that. And then you can kind of see. And then just run all the power from the back. And then the inside, what I'm going to end up having is there's going to be two lights. It would be outside. There's this one here that goes on the outside above the door. And there's one on the other side. And then in the back, when you lift up the top, there's a latch that goes op open, and then underneath it I'll have the two lights that shine down. That's kind of like the kitchen area. And then when you're inside, on the inside, on the sides here, I'll just put like ambient lights, like down below here, and then one on the opposite side. And then up towards the front here, you put like reading lamps, because actually when you sleep, your head's going to be up here. And then you feed it on here, so then you have like reading lamps that are here. And that's pretty much it. Then up above, like centered above, is going to be that fan, right? That it's like 14 inches by 14 inches. And then see all these, like the studs are like cut. So I'm going to run all the black tubing through there, and then just hot glue it to the side. And then with that 16 gauge wire, and then uh, yeah, it gets all enclosed. And then. Like like I said, the only switches that we're going to have is probably on the side, I'm going to mount a switch here that runs the outside there, the outside light on the other side, there's going to be a switch here that runs this light. And that's going to be, well then switches in the back, that's going to run the, um, the um, exterior lights in the back. But, I mean, those are just braces right here, these things, those go away once you get all the electrical set in. And then these spars, whatever you call them, those get ran all the way across the top to make the shape. And then I got the one eighth inch plywood that wraps around the whole thing and makes the shape. And then it gets wrapped in aluminum. So that gives you kind of an idea of what it's going to look like. And like I said, I think if we just run the control panel, if I, I think if I just build a box that's on the back of this battery for that controller, for the solar power, then we can... Uh, run it that way and then I say if I run the solar power just off of the hook using the big terminals and just have it hooked up and then the controller on the back and then I can get 25 feet of cable where I put it wherever I want that panel so that's kind of the an overview of kind of what I had in mind let's see what it looks like yeah cool all right let me know what you think all right later